Hello everybody. Today I'll be talking about the Nikon FG. Uh, this camera, I picked it up in a thrift shop. Um, has, uh, has been versatile, high performance, and uh, reliable. So we'll be taking a look at this camera and also some of the downfalls of it too. There's not that many, just a few. So yeah, we'll take a look at this camera in depth. Now the basic operations of this camera is fairly easy. Uh, what do you want to make sure you have LR44 batteries and uh, you uh, insert them at the bottom of the camera. It takes two. And uh, you want to make sure the lens is uh, uh, in line with this two black dot. And once you line them up, you turn them counterclockwise and you'll hear a click sound. And if you want to take off the lens, you press uh, this uh, lens release button and you uh, turn it clockwise and uh, remove the lens. Uh, other than that, in order to load a film, you pull up the rewind knob and it opens the back of the camera. And from there, you can go ahead and place the film cartridge in the back and uh, feed some of the film into the spool teeth and uh, once you, I would say like, take a picture and you know, and crank the lever, so that way you could see it is uh, taken in the film. You can go ahead, close the back door and take out any spool that is um, uh, slacking. So I would rewind a little bit until you feel a little bit tension. And afterwards you wanna go ahead and fire some shots and make sure it goes to one and you are ready to take some pictures. And you could see the rewind knob moving as you're advancing the film. And uh, that way you know uh, it's, uh, it, you properly load the film. So now we talked about the basic operations. Uh, now I'll be talking about the overall features it has. The Nikon FG actually is a four camera in one. The reason why I'm saying is you have four different types of exposure modes. So let's start with the P, it stands for program. So in this mode, what it does is the camera itself picks um, the shutter speed and the f-stop. And um, so you're letting the camera decide uh, what shutter speed to use and uh, what uh, aperture to use. So if you are new to photography, this is an entry level camera. This would be a great start um, to just get your you know, uh, feet sweat so you know how you know, the SLR camera works. I would move uh, to A and uh, the A stands for auto. And in this mode, the f-stop, uh, you control the f-stop and the shutter speed, the camera itself automatically picks for you. So say for example, if I wanted to shoot F16 uh, and because I wanted uh, the background uh, of the picture to be visible because I'm taking a picture of a, a scenery or a landscape. So then it would automatically pick the uh, shutter speed for me. And if I'm taking a portrait picture, so I would uh, make the f-stop 1.8, 2.8 to get you know, the bokeh uh, effect then uh, it would probably uh, shoot in a faster shutter speed. That would be a great start for after the program to go to the auto mode. Then if you feel very adventurous, I would suggest go ahead and shoot at manual mode. And in manual mode, you have the flexibility to pick any f-stop and shutter speed. And um, I would recommend after you have an understanding how shutter and uh, aperture works, um, then you can go ahead and shoot some uh, shoot it manually. And another feature this camera has was the TTL mode. What it does, it uh, basically measures the light coming through the lens itself. So you would get proper exposure if you mount a uh, flash on top. And uh, there's diff three different types of flashes uh, you could buy as well. And uh, then you have a camera with flash photography capabilities. So I just wanted to just give you a quick feel and understanding about this camera and how this camera fits in your lifestyle. All my Nikonians, 
um, you know, uh, they know like how much uh, uh, this camera was a starting point for anyone that wants to get in a Nikon uh, system. So I think the FG is a great starting point uh, to get started. It's, uh, you know, reliable, it's cheap and, uh, you know, high performance. I got this camera around, you know, 65 US dollars and uh, I got lucky. The light metering was working. Uh, the previous owner did not abuse it. It's like flawless, to be honest with you. And uh, if you can find this camera anywhere, uh, I would say the range between, you know, 100 to uh, 200, but depends what kind of accessories you're gonna get with it. I would highly recommend this. The rating portion of it, you know, um, I would give it 4.5. And 4.5, like I was saying earlier, it doesn't have a field and depth preview, and which is a drawback. Off button, because you know, I've accidentally pressed the shutter release button uh, when it was in my bag. And those little things can happen. If anybody wants to start an SLR journey uh, with a Nikon, uh, I would, you know, check the FG Nikon. Thank you everyone for checking out this video. I very much appreciate your support. Um, if you like these videos, you know, uh, please like and subscribe. It would greatly help me a lot and I could produce this, these type of content for everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.